project, you'll need a set of salad tongs. Ours are bamboo. It's great if they're wood and if they're flat on the handle, that works best. You'll also need some round filigrees. We have some graduated sizes, large, medium, and small in a mix of metals. And then we have some little metal flowers. We also have two flat metal charms. We're gonna use E6000 for our glue. And we're gonna do a little trick with a hammer. This is an anvil we're gonna hammer on. And we also are gonna show you how to use the wire cutters. The first thing we wanna to do to embellish our tongs is cut the rings off of our charms. So a couple of our embellishments are actually charms and we're gonna use the wire cutters to just snip the rings off of them so that they don't look like charms anymore. So just like that, I use the wire cutters just to cut that right off. We have some rings on these little flowers too. Just cut right through. Sometimes you have to squeeze a few times depending on how hard the metal is. But there, now it doesn't even look like it was ever a charm. I just have one more. And I'm just gonna cut that ring right off. This is fun because you get lots of options once you include charms as your embellishment options. And all you have to do is cut those little pieces off. So now that those are cut, we have our little charms there. We're gonna use the hammer and the anvil. This is at an anvil, it's a nice little piece of metal. And we're going to flatten our embellishments. These are little metal filigrees. And you can buy these with craft supplies, jewelry supplies. Some of them are slightly curved. So this one has a little bit of a curve to it. And to flatten it so it'll glue better, we're going to just hammer it. So I've got a, my little jewelry hammer here. And I'm just gonna hit it a few times, turn it over and hit it until it's flat. It's that easy. And you can use a regular hammer for this. And if you don't have an anvil, you can hammer on the concrete floor of your garage. And this is the only other one I have that's curved. It helps to turn it concave to hammer. So now that those are flat, we're ready to do our embellishing. We are going to put these beautiful filigrees on the handles of these wooden tongs. These are bamboo salad tongs. And they're lovely just as they are, but they're gonna be even prettier when we embellish them. So for our design, we decided we're gonna do the big filigrees right in the center of the handle here. And we're gonna use the E6000 to do our gluing. This is just a nice little craft glue. And I'm gonna apply, I don't wanna put the glue everywhere because the glue is only gonna go across the wood here. So I'm gonna put the glue in the center. And if the glue comes up through the center of the filigree, that's just fine. It will help secure the filigree onto the wooden handle, just like that. I'm going to do the same with this one. I'm going to put some glue in the center. And I'm going to press it down on the flat handle. And that's why it's helpful to use tongs that are flat handled. So there's a little bit of glue coming up. That's perfect because now we want to glue on our next piece. This is a little bit smaller and it's a different metal. And we like that because it shows up better. I'm gluing it just the same way. Make sure there's enough glue that that's gonna hold. And I've got the second one for our second tong. And I'm just gonna push that into place, press it down. And you've got a little bit of time before the glue sets up to move these into place. And now we're going to put on our charms in the center of these. So this one, this B, is a little concave on the underside. So I'm going to give it a little extra glue. And I'm just going to set that down right on top in the center of that filigree. And this one, you could do matching charms. We thought it was kind of fun to make them a little bit different. So we have a bird for this one. And there's our little bird. And those are looking great already, but we have a couple more embellishments we want to do. We're going to put these silver filigrees 
at the top here, a little bit more glue, right about there, center that. And then we're going to put the gold flower on top of the filigrees. These filigrees are so fun. Once you find them, you, buy, you can buy little mixed bags, take them home and just play with them. They are super fun. I have a little string of glue there. I'm just pulling it off. So there's our little gold flower on the silver filigree. I'm going to repeat that for this side. And you could also use like an initial for someone. If you were giving these as a gift to somebody, you could put an initial in here on the salad tongs. And here's our last little gold flower. Set that down. Oh, I got a little glue on my finger. Set that down right there and just center it. Those look great. Now our last few pieces. We've got these antique brass filigrees. Oops. This glue dries clear, so don't worry about it showing. And you can also use the toothpick here if you've got any outside the lines. You can just pick it up with the toothpick. So I'm trying to space these about evenly. I'm going to move this one a little bit closer. And this brass filigree can go here. We only embellished this end of the handle, so this stuff won't get too much in the way when you're trying to use the tongs. And I would recommend hand washing these for sure when you use them. And this glue, once it sets up, will be just fine with hand washing. So here's our last little flower. And now we're just going to let that glue set up. And those are our lovely little embellished salad tongs. Mm -hmm.